but raving and drinking you become a fastic when you do this because when you start to rave and you drink raving you're open to the sin meaning that you're doing an open sin if a person goes home and he drinks alcohol in the comfort of his house nobody knows it's between him and his lord if he makes toba Allah might forgive him but somebody who comes out into a rave he is a fasic because he's doing it in front of people for them to see he doesn't have no hayat with it he does not have no hayat he doesn't care that people are watching him doing this sin and it says in the hadith by the prophet sallallahu everyone will be forgiven their sins except for the person who done their sins in open so Allah covered them in the night but then in the morning they get up and they start saying yeah how last night man was raving was doing this and in the morning he covered their sins but in the night they go out and they start saying yeah man this morning was crazy man you should saw what I was doing with that girl it's like you are mashing up yourself you're becoming a witness over yourself and if we take a deeper, deeper analysis of this raving and drinking, we'll get to a conclusion of a few things. The first conclusion that we're going to get to is, what is the goal which she, that men go out for raving? What do they go out for? Girls, mainly. That's the main thing, girls, isn't it? Man, that's what they do. So, nine, ten out of you girls out there, you are just becoming a statistic. So he can say on his number on his date and list, yeah man beat you that still, look at her. <laughs> She's alright, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. Done. That's all you are. You are not going to become somebody's wife by getting caught in a rave. Because nobody wants a woman that is going out raving every week. Nobody. Even the most Rave in the suit doesn't want that. Why? Because he knows there's a potential that there's men that's going to find you with my intentions to want to do the same thing with you and you're going to do the same thing with them because you've done the same thing with me. Makes sense, doesn't it? So that's first. Second of all, when you go raving, you start drinking alcohol. Now this alcohol, like I said, has evil consequences of it. One of the evil consequences, it makes you lose your aql, it makes you lose your, your sense to reason so some of you women might end up in bed and sleep with a man and wake up in the morning and be like why did I sleep with that man I know many brothers have woken up in the morning after raving and felt regretful what they've done how do you go back now everyone's seeing you raving everyone's talking about your raving everyone's saying that you're raving and the worst thing of all this all is that you might even have a beard so people might be like well Muslims go raving I didn't know Muslims were allowed to rave I thought Muslims we're not allowed to go party in there. I thought Muslims, they go to the mosque and they, they do that Quran thing. You know that Quran thing? I thought they did that. But now you're showing them another light. And the sisters that are going, taking off the hijab as well. Thinking that, what, you're going to find a man that likes you. Oh no, you're just having fun. There's no fun in this. Because in the morning you're going to wake up with a hangover. What fun about a hangover? You can't get out of bed, you're vomiting, you're weak. You stay in bed the whole day. What is fun about that? You just wasted a whole day. For three hours, five hours, six hours, how much hours you wasted a whole day? Was it really worth it? Imagine you die in this state and you're raised on Yom Al-Qiyama like this, drunk. What are you going to do then? What are you going to say to Allah? You died. We don't think it can happen. There's lots of men that go out there. Some of their intentions for going raving is not to get girls. It's not to drink alcohol is actually to cause damage to someone else. For what reason? I don't know. Maybe he's angry. Maybe he's listening to some gangster music. He's just got a gun. He thinks he's untouchable. So he's going out there with the intention that I'm going to shoot someone tonight. I'm going to test my aim up. I've had enough of all these guys. I'm going to shoot something. I'm going to stab something. So you as an innocent guy in there, Muslim, the first time you ever came to a rave. Dancing, having enough time in your life, drinking alcohol. I uh, know a gunshot's going off, bam, you have to feel something in your back, you drop on the floor. SubhanAllah, you go back to Allah, SubhanAllah, Malakul Muttu. Is this the state you want to die in? 